Hit areas and neighborhood just north of US 136. That's where we find the now's Mike Pelton, who joins us live with new details. Mike. Yeah, well, Candace, you want to go out on the lake? You probably can't use that pontoon boat that's flipped upside down there in the neighbor's yard, as those who live here in the Rolling Acres neighborhood have a tremendous amount of cleanup going forward. Now, we don't yet know the specific path the tornado took, but one man tells me it came right over his house. Now, just within the past couple of hours, the National Weather Service confirmed a tornado hit this neighborhood. They and Hendricks County Emergency Management conducted a damage assessment late this afternoon. Now, the Weather Service tells me as the storm made its way through Brownsburg, it produced an EF one tornado. That means the tornado had wind speeds around 94 miles an hour. It then tore through the Rolling Acres neighborhood. Officials are reviewing damage across several counties and say the final tally of tornadoes might continue to rise. But here in this neighborhood, the National Weather Service says it's clear a tornado touched down last night. Well, I look for a couple of things. The size of the trees and they're uprooted is uh, the one indicator. Uh, they're all in different directions, so you can tell that there was definitely rotation talking to some of the people. Uh, we did get the usual description that it sounded like a freight train. And late this afternoon, you can see that generator there. Some of the homes are still without power. Meanwhile, the Red Cross and Hendricks County Emergency Management were out here checking to see if anybody needs help. Fortunately, there are no reported injuries, just a big cleanup ahead. Now, today I spoke with a man who has a lot of debris in his yard, and he actually watched that tornado drop down essentially right on his doorstep. We'll have his story coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live in Brownsburg for the Now Indy, Mike Pelton, RTV6.